Alright. Do some trimming for this. Could have cut this piece. Oh, oh hello. Hi, it's the uh, 28th of April. Wow, we have two more days before new months coming in again. It's Sunday. And I usually, you know, it's a Sunday, so like my day off, I slept like two o'clock in the morning. Um, just fixing everything, but um, it was a good day today. So I woke up, I didn't set my alarm, but I woke up like 9.30. And um, well, I was already awake, so I just had my shower. And I just had this uh, wheat, something wheat, uh, like oh. <laughs> it's like a cereal, but it's a wheat one, and you know, I'm not happy with that taste anymore. Tastes bland, um, but I still ate that because you know it's my breakfast. And then Dan called me up around past 10 o'clock, and he told me like a story, like <laughs> for an hour, what happened that night during the strike. Actually, like actually it's like one o'clock. They got home like six o'clock in the morning, and uh, Andy who's really in charge of that who works for us this is what I've been telling you about all throughout my videos for the wedding um, he told him that they'll be doing this, uh, the rest of the other strikes because we only did the strike for the lanterns that we provided for them but the rest they'll do it in the morning I'm thinking why they they didn't tell them that they could do the strike early morning instead of you know making it like we are of the night and Ron got sick so you know he went home earlier like he got home I mean, he left the place by f uh, around three o'clock, and there, I didn't know that there were only three. And I know that Anna, one of our who do part time for us, the Spanish lady, the Latina, um, should be there. And it was really sad. Like, if I only I should have been there too. So I don't know. The time you need people, they're not there. And the time you, we, you know, much we don't need lots of people, and there were it's opposite, you know. And uh, anyway, so. I told to come over because I'm um, really planning to go for brunch already. So he came like past 11 o'clock, almost like 12. And he needs to continue the story. Until we got a call from Steve. We didn't know that they put the truck already in the warehouse. And they're trying to remove some of, this, of the flowers that don't have to be removed then. And the rest will do it tomorrow. And they invited us to have lunch at 2J. So instead of planning to go for the French restaurant, we went to 2J's to have lunch with them. And they continue. the story went on. And somehow, honestly... We weren't happy the way Adish, one of our uh, you know staff, uh, back talk. I mean, I don't know. How do you call that? Um, backstabbing us because we're saying that um, you know they got upset or something. I don't know what it is, but we're not happy. So anyway, it's a kind of personal. So what happened after the lunch time? We parked the car and we, you know, we went ahead because we have a play to watch, like the last show of Barnum, uh, the top musical. Uh, yeah, the big top musical. This is the last day that they had that afternoon, and um, most of the cast were uh, cast also for Drowsy Chaperone, so I know most of them there. And uh, Drew Spinelli, the son of my friend uh, Peter. Who portrayed one of the gangster for uh, Drowsy Chaperone was was Barnum, and he was he's very good. He the songs are so difficult because it's like too fast, like a rapping thing, but it's not rap. But you know the words he can manage. He manages that. So we're eyeing. I'm pretty sure he audition. He'll be auditioning for Usnavi for In the Heights uh, for tomorrow, and then during intermission I saw Tom and Peter was there and Stacy was there too so the four of us went, had a little chat during the intermission and Stacy's planning to audition also for uh, In the Heights as La Latina the one of the parlor thingy and um, I'll be auditioning for Kevin the father and thank goodness that Peter is uh, auditioning for Piragua because I was planning for Piragua but the, the song is too high for me and he can handle that. I'd rather go for the little lower pitch. So I can go for Kevin, hopefully. And Drew will be eyeing for Usnavi. I know he can make it too. He has a little bit more. He should be mulatto. <laughs> to be like, like Latino. And uh, of course, Peter. Uh, Peter. Um, Tom, it's too. He's too white, he said, <laughs> to be part of that. <laughs> anyway, so we continue the show. And um, I had a video with someone for the ending and just their finale. However, when I was hoping that they would come out, like we do most of the time after the show, and it's the last show. In order to find out, good thing I went down the dressing room, they're not allowed, we as guests are not allowed to go inside the, 
dressing room now. So uh, Drew just came out from the door and just hugged and congratulated him. And it's the last day, but they're allowed to come out as well. Like, wow. I'm hoping if it be part of In the Heights, I hope whoever, I don't know if it's part of Lake Worth now rules. I hope that we can still come out, you know. I hope it was just the management or that show. I mean, it's the manager or whoever during the show for Barnum. Not the whole like Ross Playhouse thingy. But anyway, after that, um, I saw Brandy, who was my colleague or my castmate for uh, Rent. She got slimmed. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot from Barnum, the story of Barnum. Uh, not literally because it's too much information, but how he started. He also became a mayor of um, one in Connecticut, Dartmouth or something. Ooh, I forgot. Uh, it was in the story. So he became mayor of the cities in Connecticut. And it, it was cool, and uh, he he had some management with other friends, but he ended up with Bailey's, although he re already retired for, you know, the shows, but he ended up with Barnum and became Barnum and Bailey's then. And it was cool. And then, uh, Dan and I went to, where did we go? Oh, to Publix in Savor to photocopy some of the songs, I mean, the song Inutil, because this will be my audition piece for In the Heights, for tomorrow. And um, hopefully I, I'll manage with that one. I don't want to sing right now. And I'll be giving some details tomorrow too uh, regarding you know who's who there, who will be there. So I'm going to cut this. I was planning to cut this. Uh, just to trim them and paste them and give this to the pianist so it will be easier for her, him or her to read this one. I think it's a girl for the musical director. So I'm, I'm ready for this one too. I'll be singing the, uh, the half part of the song. And then, wish me luck. Um... What is this? I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> I'm scared. I want to sing, but next time. And so what happened um, after that, we, we went to, although we had the problem with the photocopy machine, we talked to the manager and they fixed it because instead of uh, portrait becomes landscape. So he couldn't, it wouldn't, uh, but it goes, uh, photocopy the whole thing, but it, they fixed it and it came this way. And then we did, we got hungry, so we went to said let's. I told Dan let's look for another restaurant that's really new to me or new to us. He said, oh, this one that he saw, he tried it before. It's a grilled chicken. Oh, something something. It was in my video, and it's a Peruvian restaurant uh, down on uh, Congress and Tenth, and it was it was cool. We tried the spaghetti, the grilled chicken spaghetti, and like I mentioned, it it's really different. It's not really a total spaghetti. They use pa the pasta spaghetti. But they have grilled chicken with different sauce. There's no, you know, tomato sauce or anything like that, like Italian thingy. So we tried that, and I got uh, have a taste of the uh, sort of like ricotto. It's like a spicy, it's a pepper. So it is spicy. I'm I'm not really, you know, fond of that, but it was okay. Then um, we had a chat, and of course, still have still have home hangover chat regarding what happened yesterday or last night. And then um, you know what I'm talking about. And then he brought me home. He was really tired because he still has, you know, still haven't got a nice, good sleep. So instead of usually Sundays we go to my place and watch Animation Domination, but he has to rest. So he went home, and I just watched the new episodes of Animation Domination. I didn't know that seven o'clock was The Simpsons. I missed that one, and I watched Cleveland. And when Rallo had a friend from the other side of uh, in stool band, another you know gang thingy, and uh, The Simpsons were. Mm. Homer became a deacon, assistant deacon. It was cool as well. And then we had, um, oh, Bob's Burger was funny. I love it. Luis, the youngest uh, kid of Bob, who is sort of like, I don't know if she's a tomboy thingy. Um, so of course, Tina loves to watch a boy band, and he, they were able to go to watch the, a boy band thing. And Tina, uh, Luis got, has crushed with this guy, uh, the youngest one, Boo Boo. And they were able to go to their van and Jesse was said, I want to slap his face. So it happened. <laughs> she was happy, but she got rid of that crushness, you know. And then on uh, Family Guy, um, Stewie was able to save um, his uh, Rupert, his bear, uh, baby teddy bear, Rupert, on the recall. And they said because their eye popped out pops out so he had to recall but uh, in the end he was able to get it but it popped out anyway and he got choked <laughs> that's the end of the story he'll survive and then for family for uh, American Dad it's like um, I don't know it's it's quite difficult because 
they want to um, stand wants to try to kill his boss or something else i don't know it's an agency thing it's not kind of fun for me to watch it i mean i cannot though i could understand the situation there but at least steve the son uh, was bullied and he St stalio stalio was the enemy of his dad so he was even beaten up by stalio as well but you know you know animation and then i continued fixing some stuff here with you know um and i was i called up uh johnny danny uh, and i thought he's gonna come over here because i invited him well he didn't show up so maybe i'm hoping he's fine and um well, i also invited also um just say uh but what do you call this invite invited uh, davy but he said oh he was, it wasn't planned so he was at boom enjoying his time there so maybe next time anyway so that's what happened to me monday we're gonna be a busy because we, a day because we're gonna put out all the stuff from the wedding and the big hapa we're gonna carry everything about that so we're gonna carry that big hapa so that's what happened so thank you so much for following my journey i'm gonna um cut this and play you know make it like a piece and practice for this one and wish me luck tomorrow so thank you and this is louis saying see you then